name is Dr. Trevor Hirsch. I'm a physical therapist. Today I'm here to talk to you about pain and why there's so much pain variability uh, that people experience with similar types of injuries. So first we're going to talk about the definition of pain. Um, so our pain theory that most of us know comes from the 17th century uh, from a guy called Rene Descartes. So let's talk about that. So you have this person next to this fire here. And what happens when you place that foot up next to this fire here, there's gonna be this pain signal that comes up to the brain. So in this model, pain is an input to the nervous system through there. Um, an unfortunate part of this model is that it doesn't take into account of how some people can experience such variability of pain. Example, if I were to walk across the parking lot today, break my ankle, uh, I'm going to experience quite a bit of pain. But if I were to walk across that same parking lot and break my ankle and there's a bus coming at me, then I'm not going to really experience any pain until I get out of the way of that. Uh, for a long time, we used to just simplify this as adrenaline. But now what we know is a little different. There's some more research about our pain experience. Now in more of the modern pain theory today, you have the same guy next to this fire. And when his foot's up against the, next to that fire here, there's gonna be this signal that comes into the brain and up here through here. We're gonna call this a noxious stimuli uh, or danger message to the brain here. And then instantaneously and unconsciously, the brain is going to think about this message uh, and assess whether or not it's dangerous. If it's dangerous, then boom, this output comes out of pain. But if it's not dangerous, then what comes out is I'm okay. No action may be required at all through there. There's a lot of different factors that affect our pain experience in this threat level through here, which we're gonna talk in greater detail in our next video. Uh, but some things that name a few are uh, previous pain experiences, um, maybe any other psychosocial factors we have going on, such as depression, anxiety, lack of sleep. Uh, so those are some big factors there. We'll talk about that in more detail. Stay tuned.